Are you thinking about a move to Roseville and you're wondering if you could live there? Will you like it? Are the people there friendly? We've lived in Roseville for a few years now and in a couple of different areas, and we're gonna be covering what it's really like to live in Roseville. to the channel we are Lauren and Lance and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento and the surrounding areas. If you're interested in learning more about Roseville, Folsom, or the greater Sacramento area then hit that like and subscribe button so you're notified every time we drop a new video about living in Sacramento. On top of making these videos we are also licensed real estate agents in the state of California which means that as much as we love making these videos we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. We answer every call, text, and email. So if you have any questions about the greater Sacramento area, we would love to help you out. Roseville is the third largest city outside of Sacramento behind Elk Grove. And it's the first city you enter when going into Placer County. Next to Rockland, Granite Bay, Citrus Heights, and Antelope, this city is known for its friendly community, excellent schools, thriving economy, and world-class shopping. Make sure to stick around until the very end. We will give you each of our number one reasons why we love living in Roseville. With a population right around 160,000 people, Roseville is one of the fastest growing cities in the state of California. But why does everybody love Roseville? Roseville is a massive city and it's broken up into three different areas that all have a different vibe and a different feel. Central Roseville is the original main part of Roseville. A lot of this area in Roseville was built around the main railroads kind of over by Vernon Street in the kind of old town Roseville and it expanded from there covering a total of 42 square miles. So here you're gonna find a little bit of everything when it comes to homes. You're gonna have some older homes that are gonna date back to when the city first originated around the railroad track. You can also find homes here that were built in the 70s and 80s that are close to two different golf courses over in Diamond Oaks. Now the best part about this area of Roseville is how close you are to everything. You're gonna have two different golf courses, the Diamond Oaks Public Course and the Sierra View Country Club, which is a private course. You're also gonna be super close to some of the best shopping in the greater Sacramento area with shopping at the Westfield Galleria and the Fountains. Not to mention there are a ton of different restaurants that are close by, a water park, top golf, ax throwing, all of it. So when we first moved to Roseville from Lincoln, we lived in Diamond Oaks, which was near the fountains. In my opinion, from this neighborhood, you're probably gonna have some of the best walkability if you wanted to go to one of the restaurants over there. So they have Dave and Buster's, they have Zocalo, they have Makuni, they have a couple of other different restaurants, or you can just walk over there to Pete's Coffee and just grab some coffee. Some of these homes in this neighborhood are gonna be less than a mile away, which is gonna make it super convenient if you didn't wanna drive over there. There are a few neighborhoods that are a little bit newer that are kind of been built around the mall in Central Roseville. So if you're wanting something that's later than 2000s, then you can find that here as well. But being in Central Roseville, you're super close to everything. Uber rides are cheaper because you don't have to go as far. And most of the nightlife scene is gonna be located in Central Roseville, kind of in that older part of Old Town Roseville. East Roseville in the next area, located between Central Roseville, East Rockland, and Granite Bay. East Roseville has more of an established feel throughout some of the neighborhoods. People tend to really like this area because of the public school districts in this part of town. Even though you're in Roseville, some of these neighborhoods can feed into Granite Bay High and Eureka Union for the elementary, which can have its own set of perks for public schools. Some of the homes here are gonna be built in the 80s and 90s. A popular neighborhood for some of our clients who have moved to East Roseville is Johnson Ranch. One of the cool things about this area is these homes are centered around the Johnson Ranch Racquet Club, which is an awesome place to work out, play tennis, or hang out by the pool. This area is a little closer to the Granite Bay entrance of Folsom Lake, which is fun for outdoor activities. This area is much more residential. You have major shopping centers at the corner of Sierra College and Douglas, and a couple shopping centers located around Rocky Ridge and Douglas. These are gonna be more strip malls with anchor stores like grocery stores or Target. You also have a few dining options in this area of Roseville. Some of our favorites are McCooney on Eureka Boulevard, Vitality Bowl on Sierra College in Douglas, and Jack's Urbanese. The last area in Roseville is West Roseville, which right now is in rapid growth mode with all of the new construction homes going out west of Fittyman. In this part of town, you're gonna to find some established neighborhoods right around Wood Creek High School, and it's really gonna be between Fittyman Road and Highway 65 going back towards Central Roseville. Now the main roads that are gonna run through West Roseville is gonna be Pleasant Grove and Blue Oaks, which are gonna run parallel to each other. And it's gonna go from Highway 65 all the way out to where all the new construction developments are that have been expanded into what used to be unincorporated parts of Placer County. West Roseville is also gonna be home to some few active adult communities that are gonna be Sun City, Del Webb, the club at the West Park and Heritage Solaire. Now, aside from some of these established neighborhoods that are right around Wood Creek High School and some of the golf courses out here, 
a lot of West Roseville will also have that newer community type vibe. So newly planted trees, a ton of new construction communities with a bunch of new homes being built out in West Park, Sierra Vista off of Baseline and Winding Creek kind of north of Blue Oaks. Now the downside to a newer community like what you might find out in West Roseville is gonna be that they're still building a lot of shopping centers and a lot of restaurant options are gonna be very limited if you're trying to stay within your neighborhood. There are only a few places out here if you wanna grab some drinks, either at the golf course or at Kitchen 747. Kitchen 747 probably has to be one of the coolest outdoor seating areas and it has some great food, good menu, and an awesome drink selection. Next thing we're gonna dive into is the schools in Roseville. Roseville, like most cities, Roseville has public schools from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade here. The city of Roseville has four high schools located directly in Roseville, and if you live in some parts of East Roseville, some of those areas feed to Roseville Joint Union's fifth high school, which is Granite Bay High School. All of these schools are highly rated and above the California average. Looking specifically at the high schools in West Roseville, you have Wood Creek High School that rates a seven out of 10 on greatschools.org. This high school has been around for a while and is the more established high school in West Roseville. Also in West Roseville, you have the brand new West Park High School built out by the newer construction in West Park. This high school is brand new with all of the latest technology, a beautiful campus, and already has a ton of school pride. Now, being that this is a brand new school, the school does not yet have a rating on greatschools.org, but knowing the district that this school is in, I am sure they will have great ratings. Now in Central Roseville, the high school is Roseville High School. This high school is the oldest high school in the area. The school opened in 1912. This high school is rated overall a six out of 10 on greatschools.org, but it's rated an eight out of 10 for test scores. In East Roseville, you have Oakmont High School, which is located more towards the older part of East Roseville. This high school rates a six out of 10 overall and an eight out of 10 for test scores. Now, there is one small perk to some of the neighborhoods that are here in East Roseville that are right next to Granite Bay. And that is that some of these homes feed to the very highly rated Granite Bay High School. Now, Granite Bay High School is obviously not located in Roseville, but it is part of the Roseville Joint Union High School District. This school rates a 10 out of 10 overall and a 10 out of 10 for test scores, as well as a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. If you're interested in learning more about what Roseville neighborhoods feed to the higher rated Granite Bay schools, send us a text or an email or comment down below and we'll get you that information. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of different factors that go into these test scores. So sometimes as neighborhoods become older and the population of the school age, you know, high schooler decreases, school ratings can be affected with lower populations of students. Like with any school or school district, there will of course be some good teachers and of course some not so good ones. But all in all, we have been really happy with the ones that our kids have had over the years. Next, we're gonna jump right into restaurants here in Roseville. Roseville is gonna have your bigger named chain restaurants that you've probably heard of, or maybe that you have in your city where you're from, like Yard House, Lazy Dog, BJ's, Dave & Buster's, Cheesecake Factory, all the basic ones, Chili's. These can be nice when you move to a new city and they can be a little bit comfortable and familiar. But Roseville also has a ton of locally owned and operated restaurants. So some of our favorites are gonna be Makuni Sushi. This place, hands down, is the best sushi ever. And the family that owns and operates Makuni's are the nicest people you'll ever meet. We have some friends that moved away and every time they come back, Makuni is a number one stop for them because it's the best sushi that they've ever had. Another locally owned favorite restaurant of ours is gonna be Bennett's Kitchen Bar and Market. This place has a great vibe, awesome covered patio. We love their steak and bacon tacos. They also have a great happy hour. Now, one thing to keep in mind is with a lot of people moving to Roseville and Roseville being kind of that main hub for restaurants and shopping, Fridays and Saturday nights have gotten a little bit busier for date nights. So you can expect to wait a little bit longer, but it's still not too bad and it will be well worth the wait if you're wanting to have some sushi or other great restaurants. One of the great perks to living in Roseville is the shopping here. Roseville has some of the best shopping in all of the greater Sacramento area. It's considered a regional shopping destination. In Roseville, we have the Westfield Roseville Gallery and Mall. This mall is pretty massive with over 240 stores. Here you can find Apple, Nordstrom's, Macy's, Lululemon, Banana Republic, Athleta, Tilly's, Victoria's Secret, Louis Vuitton, and so much more. There are high-end luxury stores as well as cute boutique style stores. This mall also has an awesome outdoor promenade with a few restaurants that we like to go to as well. We love Ruth Chris Steakhouse on special occasions here. On top of the mall, Roseville also has the Fountains, which is located just across the street from the Roseville Gallery and Mall. 
Here you can find some awesome restaurants, boutique style stores, and year round every Tuesday, they do a pretty awesome farmer's market that we highly recommend. Now we get this question a lot from people moving to the area from out of state or the Bay Area, but a lot of people ask us what the traffic's like. So during your commuting hours in the morning or in the evening, it can take about 30 to 45 minutes to get to Sacramento, depending on what part of Roseville you're coming from. East Roseville and Central Roseville are pretty located close to I-80, which is the main freeway that gets you to downtown. And the main part of that traffic can be just getting through the city stoplights to get to the freeway. However, once you're on the freeway, it usually moves pretty steady. Our freeway traffic up here is nothing like what a major city is like, like Los Angeles or the Bay Area, where it can feel more like a parking lot for two hours. Now, if you do live in West Roseville and need to get to Sacramento and you don't want to trek across town to get to Interstate 65 that then connects to Highway 80, many people who live out here will take the back roads to get to Highway 99 to get into Sacramento or to get out to the airport. So traffic here isn't as bad as long as you allow yourself enough time, but it's not like you're sitting in a parking lot on the freeway. One thing to be aware of is the weather here in Roseville. We do have four actual seasons that are all awesome. Our springs are absolutely gorgeous with beautiful blooming trees and plants that are well thought out and planted in many of the parkways. Now, when the trees change color in the fall before they lose their leaves, it's also really pretty here. During the winters, well, as of this past winter, we did get a lot of rain. In fact, we actually had a record year with rainfall with many, many days of rainy wet weather. The plus to all of the rain we received was that up in the mountains, specifically the Lake Tahoe area, they received a ton of snow, which was awesome for us. We were able to take many day trips up to the snow to go snowboarding and skiing this past winter. In fact, we had so much snow, many resorts up in Tahoe have extended their season into the first week of May. Now, you're probably thinking or wondering, what are our summers like here? Well, let me tell you, they're hot. We get multiple days over 100 degrees. However, in the mornings and later evenings, it tends to cool back down into the low 90s on those hot days. So if you need to run errands or get out, on those days, we just plan to do everything early. But in Roseville, you don't always have to cut loose and bail out of Roseville to have something fun to do. So Roseville has a lot of fun things to do if you're looking to get outside. We have Golfland Sunsplash, which has a lot of awesome water parks, mini golf go-kart, arcades. We love coming to the water park here every summer and enjoy spending the day riding on the water slides with our kids. Roseville also has movie theaters, uh, either at the mall or at the Olympus Point. We also have the All-American Speedway, which is a fun place to check out if you're into watching race cars and things like that. And then West Roseville also has Wake Island, which is a pretty cool spot where you can go wakeboarding using a pulley system so you don't need to have a boat. They also have a giant floating obstacle course as well as floating cabanas that you can run out for the day. So Roseville also has a ton of parks sprinkled throughout the city. Some of those parks even have awesome splash pads for the kiddos. So, so if you need to beat the heat with your kids, that's always a fun idea. Some of our favorite parks here in Roseville are the newer Harry Crab Park in Stone Ridge Development, Mighty Park located next to Johnson Ranch area, and the Mahaney Sports Complex located near Wood Creek High School. Roseville also has a lot of really nice trails throughout the city, like Miner's Ravine is an awesome one to check out if you're in the area. Now we told you if you stuck around until the very end that we would share with you each of our favorite things about what it's really like to live in Roseville. So my favorite thing about Roseville and what it's like to really live here is that the community is super safe. The city's police department takes a lot of pride being involved within the community. They're super friendly and they go through a lot of extensive training both with their officers and they do special trainings within the community to help the community be more collaborative in some of their efforts. So the city of Roseville has its own police department and since it also is in Placer County, it has the support from Placer County Sheriff that also has a high standard of training for their department as well. So just like any larger city with a larger population, you're gonna have some crime here and there. Roseville was ranked 21 overall in the United States and the highest in California on livability.com as the safest place to live. My favorite thing about Roseville and something we've noticed about what it's like to really live here here is that the people in this city are friendly. We get this feedback a lot from our clients who move to Roseville from out of state or even when they move to Roseville from a different city within the area. We've lived in a few different areas in Roseville and the neighbors are nice, friendly, and welcoming when a new family moves into the neighborhood. Our kids have made great friends and the area overall is just filled with super nice people. So if Roseville sounds like the place for you or maybe you wanna check out one of the other awesome cities in the greater Sacramento area, reach out. We love helping people discover this area and figure out if this area is right for them or not. We do answer every call, text, and email. And as always, just know that we got your back when it comes to moving to Northern California.